Hello there. You look like you might be a little thirsty. I don't really know. It's kind of my secret power. I can just look at someone across a room and I instantly know if they need something to drink. So, what can I get for you, handsome? Ooh, nice. I appreciate a man that doesn't order a mixed drink. I'll be right back with that. Oh damn, look at that smile. That. Now that is a good smile. That is the best smile I have seen in an extremely long time. So why don't you just sit back and relax, enjoy the ambiance, and I will be back before you can say, bunny. I'll be back pretty quickly. Don't you worry. I'm gonna pour you out the best drink that you've ever been poured. Mark my words. I have a, a very heavy hand. Well, here we are. As requested, I um, gave you three shots of our most expensive. I only charged you for well, so that'll be our little secret. Don't tell anybody. Would it be okay if I, I sat and, and joined you for a while? Awesome. I'll just pull up a seat. So what do you think of that drink? Nice. You're very welcome. Oh, I would love to. That's a very, very generous offer of you, but F has a very strict policy about us not drinking on the job, but I do appreciate the offer. You have a very, very kind face. I don't think I've seen you here before, have I? I would remember. You would definitely remember that. Smile. So what's your story? Oh, so you came out to Hollywood looking to uh, be in the motion pictures. What a coincidence. So did I. Well, you must have impressed someone because you're in the most exclusive club in the private room where it's invitation only. How long have you been out here? Wow, not long at all. And look at you. Already rubbing elbows with the cream of the crop. It's quite impressive. I'm sure having a smile like that doesn't hurt. Oh, me? Um, you know, girl from a small town looking to come out here and be discovered in Hollywood. The same old story that you've heard a million times. Do you like the costumes? Thank you. Yeah, you can see the ears. They're, uh, they're pretty comfortable to wear. So this is just like some and then you can bend them if you'd like to. Yeah, no, they're actually a very high quality. Would you like to wear them? I could make that happen. You're good? Alright, well, the offer stands. If you. Give my head a break for a little bit and leave these off. The, the headband portion can start to make your head just a little bit sore, just right behind the ears. So it's nice to just take a quick break from time to time. I'll just set these over here. So how's your day been so far? 
better now. I'm very happy to hear that. So you say better now, what does that mean that it wasn't going that well earlier? You know, I'm so sorry to hear that. That does sound very, very stressful. I think that you've come to the right place to relax and just unwind. The nice thing about this being a private, exclusive club is that it's never too loud or boisterous. It just stays very quiet and subdued so you can have nice, intimate conversations with someone. That is nice. You don't have to scream or shout. You can just talk pretty much in a whisper. And you can still hear everything that I'm saying. Yeah. Personally, I prefer that. Don't you? Loud bars and parties can just be so draining. Especially when you find someone that you actually want to have a, a conversation with. So, I would love to hear You seem like a very fascinating person. I bet you have so many interesting stories to tell. Oh, don't be modest. I'm a very, very good judge of character. And I can tell that you have led a very fascinating life. It's all in your eyes. There's like this mischievous twinkle in your eyes that shows that you're a man that's had many interesting experiences and no shortage of adventures. Am I right? I thought so. So why don't you tell me one of your... your tales. I'm all ears. Pun. Intended. You have a very nice voice, by the way. I could just say listen to you talk all day. What do I want to hear about? Well, why don't you start off at the beginning? I'm in no rush. Tell me what, like, made you think that you wanted to come out to knew that you were just sort of destined for more. You could see that. Your energy is way too big to be kept caged up in a small town. You need to be somewhere where you're around other like-minded people. So how did you end up meeting half? Oh, interesting. 
I'm sure that you could charm your way into any crowd. You're just one of those types of people that people are just drawn to. And people gravitate towards. There's something quite intoxicating about you. I imagine that once people get to know you, they can't ever get enough. Am I correct in that assumption? I told you I'm usually pretty good at just summing people up. It's always fun. Sometimes it can get me into trouble though, because I don't know when to keep quiet. I need to learn to, to edit myself. You're kind of like the, the strong, silent type, aren't you? thoughts going on up in that head. I can tell. I can see the wheels just spinning and spinning. Do you have trouble sleeping at night? I thought so. Unfortunately, that's usually one of the side effects of being brilliant. An inability to turn off one's thoughts. Do you read a lot? What are you reading right now? Oh, that sounds absolutely fascinating. Tell me a little bit about it. I love the words that you choose to use. You have such an amazing vocabulary. It's like you're at the source. It is full of so many interesting words that I don't normally hear. Not that the men that come in here aren't normally intelligent. They are. Something that's just very special and different about you. You're unique. You're not like the rest. I like that about you. I like people that aren't afraid to march to the beat of their own drum. It's a rare quality. So many people just follow the herd. But I can tell that you are a very independent thinker. And I really respect and admire that. I hope you don't ever lose that. Living in this town where people are always saying insincere things to each other. There's definitely a lot of fakery in this town, but I hope that you're someone that never loses their authenticity. You can't put a price tag on that. And don't let anyone ever tell you differently. How's that drink tasting? Good. Well, you just let me know what you need another. And I will go and refill that. Taking care.
care of and attended to during your time here. But more than anything, the most important thing of all is that I just want You've had such a long, busy day, it sounds like. You did so much. You talked to so many people. And all you need to do now is just relax. All you need to do is just relax. There you go. I can see that you're starting to relax. Oh, just, you know, the muscles in your face are becoming looser. Your jaw looks more relaxed. Your eyebrows look more relaxed. It's just the way you're holding your face. If you become very familiar with people's facial expressions and how they look when they're stressed or tense, you can tell when they start to loosen up. And I can see that you're definitely starting to loosen up. You don't have to keep your eyes open. No one's over here. No one's paying attention. Why don't you just close your eyes? Just close them. There you go. Doesn't that feel good? Just letting your eyelids fall closed like that. And I want you Every single thing that was stressing you out and bothering you. And I want you to visualize putting it into a balloon and watching all your stresses and everything that was bothering you just drift, drift away. Now keep your eyes closed. You're just visualizing it. You're just visualizing every single problem as an individual balloon. And you release them one by one. And they float up into the sky and they get smaller and smaller until they vanish. And then you can't even see them anymore because they're so far away from you. Good job. You're doing such a good job relaxing. So just keep your eyes closed and I want you to sit there in this state of peace that you're in now. Now that you've released everything that was holding you down, everything that was heavy on your mind, and think about how your body feels right now. This is the way that you're meant to feel. With no stress, no worry in your body. You feel so light, as light as a feather. So light that you feel that you're becoming weightless. Like you yourself could actually start to levitate out of this chair and just float up to the ceiling. Not so weightless you feel. Every muscle in your body has become mush 
and loose and relaxed. Your shoulders are so relaxed. Your back is so relaxed. Your legs, your feet, your toes. All of you is so relaxed and so weightless. into the most peaceful and relaxing sleep that you've ever had in your entire life. And you're gonna wake up feeling like a million bucks, ready to conquer the world. Alright. I'm just and sit in that extremely comfortable chair that you're in and I just want you to sleep that's all you have to do I'll come wake you up when it's time alright